Hello and welcome to the new way of doing LCAs. I'm going to give you a quick tour around Earthster and how you can use it to make better environmental decisions. This is how Earthster looks and I'm, I've opened a cycle. Cycles are at the core of Earthster and they represent a whole life cycle of a product. You can see here that we have the stages of production, distribution and use. And inside each one of those, I can open and see what the contents of those stages are. For example, electricity consumption or even power while on standby. This is a model that I have created in advance and you can check it out in a separate video. And when I click on any of those nodes a second time, I enter edit mode in which I can change the values. In this case, I can change the hours of power while on standby. Or if I go to production electronics, for example, I could change the amount of each one of the electronics. Let me imagine that I'm doing a redesign in which these numbers have become a little bit smaller. You see that when I change those values, I see on the left hand side that the, the circles become smaller, the, the proportion between those becomes smaller. And that's because the size of those circles represents the environmental impact. And I can hover over them to see more details. So like this, if I change a value, I can in real time see what the effect of that change is on my environmental impact. And normally if I change a value, I may want to also go here and document what has happened. Um, change electronic, electronics model, for example. Right, so I can keep all the documentation or I can also go up here and keep track of my assumptions. New electronics change in, so new electronics change in August, 2022. And I can keep track of everything there. Um, th this is the basics of how you can edit those. And the other side of uh, Verster is that I can also click here to compare. In this case, I already have an existing comparison. If not, it would take me straight away to a new one. And if I click here, I see the comparison of my computer mouse. If I go here, I'll go to damage on human health my computer mouse in comparison with uh, an average calculated from Echo Invent. Now I see here that mine has a use phase while the Echo Invent one doesn't. So I can click here on production to see only the impact of that production stage. And I can go back. Uh, I can also click here on settings to add new, new cycles to compare with. I'm going to click here on the name to go back to, to my cycle. Uh, and then I could here uh, do some changes. One last thing that I wanted uh, to show to you is that, of course, this is a model that has already been built for, built for me, but I can change anything or I can even build the model by adding things. And this is through this add new button. For every node that I click, for every process that I click or stage, uh, I have this list of what's included in it. And I can click here to add a new one from the database, or I can click here on the advanced menu to add custom processes or bundles. Uh, you can see a separate video on, on how those can make your, your model more advanced or, or make it tell a better story or tell, to show the data better um, by using these, these models. Now I'm gonna click on add new. And if I look up here, um, any, any search term, let me, let me say, for example, that I want to find a, a new type of steel that I'm using. Uh, then I get results of um, anything with the word steel basically or related to steel. Uh, it may be in the title, it may be in the description and we, we rank them to what we think is the, is the most suitable. One thing that you'll notice often in LCA is that you may have things that have the search term and are close to your geography but are not that relevant as you see here for example in which steel is the material of the persainer uh, or data that is global so the average is more broad but it's in this case closer to what I'm trying to look for. Uh, we have parsed all the data that's on Erster. You see that we have here as origin equipment. Uh, we have parsed all the data so that we know what type of data it is. So what type of process it is and everything in Erster is a cycle. So those all these can be explored as such. Uh, but for example some of them 
they're actually material products. There's something physical that comes into the life cycle. But some others, like this, are processing. So they don't include an input of the material, but a transformation of that material. And we also have things like energy, transportation, or waste management as those categories. And with those categories, as with units, geography, or origin, you can use these toggles to show only those or remove those. And in our user testing, we've seen that searching with keywords and then one or two uh, of these um, of these are saying it's not a material product uh, you can see some of the others here uh, don't show me the echo invent ones well in this case it's none of those but don't show me the global values for example or the rest of the world uh, that type of uh, finding is much more powerful because you get much faster to the to the search term that you're looking for so with this, we can select the, the right process. Let me go back to the one that I had at the beginning. And we can add it. And here we put how much of that, how much of that steel we're adding. And of course, if I put something bigger, it will show up right away in the diagram on the left. And if I already have a data point, I could always click here, swap and swap it by another. Uh, another type. So for example, if I want to see the effect of ch changing a particular steel for another one or changing a power source for another power source. Um, and how would I use this? Well, uh, very often we are driven by climate change, but here you can see that I can change to other impact categories like damage to ecosystems, for example, or to water use. Uh, but going back to climate change, what I would uh, what I would suggest doing what one way of using it is to look at where my biggest impacts are. In this case, for example, I would locate that it's in the use phase and in the power consumption while it's on standby, and directing all our efforts to try to reduce that. So prioritize your actions um, and uh, and uh, focus on redesign or design changes of your product that reduce the impact on those uh, on those items. And you can prioritize based on that. In some cases, you may not, um, it may not be directly on, under your control. For example, here, a big part of my, my impact is the integrated circuit production of, of type logic. So then in that case, I could work with my supplier by requesting an LCA from them. And, and then they would get the chance of, instead of just filling some blanks for me to improve a predefined model or for me to try to guess their impact i will i will send them the process and ask them can you correct these values can you do an actual lca of your processes so that when i'm considered integrated circuit production i'm actually using the one that uh the one that my supplier is using and finally if i'm still in the exploration phase and i want to understand why the integrated circuit production has such a big impact, I can always click here and explore and it will show to me where, what, what different impacts are driving that, that impact. So in this case, for example, consumption of gold is one of the bigger impacts and I can explore here and see that the refinery operations are a big percentage of that environmental impact. And that is a quick tour of Erster and how you can draw conclusions out of it, uh, how you can interpret the results, how you can analyze it from different angles. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions or you can get in touch with us through our social media or through our website. I hope you have an excellent day and I hope you really enjoy using Erster. You can sign up as usual in, uh, for free in our website, erster.org. I'll see you there. Thank you.